Sorry about that, guys. I had to do something. But anyway, welcome back to you know, the What Thick of the Drift Creation, Part 5. <laughs> if you're wondering what's all that booming in the background, that's my Xbox and computer and my vent, so. As Deku. As Deku made the deal with Inko. Not Inko. More like Momo Aizorozu. Aizorozu's nightmares have already stopped. After Deku lit, left her alone in class, she just woke up and she just says, What did I miss? I always says, Oh, you just didn't miss anything. You just started class. And she said, But that's not possible. That dream was like, I don't know, a few seconds. I almost didn't want to think about it. Instead, she tried to focus on class and not to think about her other, other like, fellow students, you know? And Deku's just watching the background, laughing at them, just like, in the darkness. <laughs> He's like saying, oh, this is so funny. I can't believe they didn't, just don't expect anything. Of course. Deku was actually called for a different reason. Someone called him into the darkness and it was sp ignited Springtrap. And Springtrap said, hey kid. I do like killing, but why? How do you have this power to bring people that are from hell back to life? Deku said, Well, my quirk didn't activate when I was a kid, so it activated when I was dead. You see, my body is already burnt and shriveled up. However, since I'm dead, I can live forever. <laughs> Spring chap. You really are, silly. Well, should I call you by your true name, William Afton? Springtrap's like, how do you know my real name? Deku's like, oh, come on. You're not the only one that has secrets that are left buried. <sighs> After all, I gave you that void place, and I learned a lot about you. When I first started sending kids in, into fake kids into your... I don't know, space. You killed them instantly. You crushed their heads in like it was nothing that you enjoyed it so much. And Deku said, Next time you try to lie to someone, Springtrap, make sure you're doing a better impression. Or be better at it to be more precise. Springtrap's like, hm, You're a pretty smart kid. I'll give you that. However, kid, that doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you can, I don't know, Torture those girls like that. Deku's like, why can't I? They're my prey. And Springtrap's like, mm, I can't argue with that, but... One day, you'll get caught, and I won't be able to help you. Deku's like, how am I going to get caught, huh, Springtrap? You've been on the one for, I don't know, months, and they still haven't caught us. They still don't know where the hideout is. And Springtrap also said, hey, uh, hey Deku. And Deku said, yep. You do realize that Aerie's waiting for you, right? And Deku's like, oh shoot, I gotta go. Deku teleports away into the house that's not like a black voidish area. As Deku gets to the house, Aerie like jumps out of Deku and it's like, just Papa! Deku's like, okay, my daughter, she's Aerie. You're such a little you're such a, you're such, you're so carefree. As Deku's like wondering, like, hmm, what should I make today? Deku decides to make, hey, Aerie, do you want those dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets? Aerie said, yes! Okay then. As Deku goes into the kitchen, puts his bib on, and starts cooking. Of course, Creation said, boss. Deku's like, yeah? What are you making? Deku said, uh, I'm making dinosaur shaped uh, nuggets. You want some? Creation said, I can't eat. Deku says, Creation, you can just make yourself to eat, right? I give you that ability. Creation's like, oh, yeah. Creation opens his mouth and just chews on the nugget. It's like, oh, so good. Deku's like, yeah, you're lucky you're in my space. And of course, Deku's like, huh. Besides, how the others are doing? Creation said, they're doing fine, but they're getting a bit of getting a bit bored of killing just freak people. 
Undertaker was like, shh, And he's like, what was that, Papa? What did Christian say? Ari kind of heard, like, killing them, and like I said, no, we're just listening, no, no, Ari. It's just, like, something that Christian's talk talking to me about. Uh, well, I am going to make a killer, like, uh, chicken nugget, so. Ooh, okay. And Dick is like, Dick, like, pulls Creation's jaw and says, Creation, Creation, don't say that in front of her, you idiot. And Creation's like, sorry, boss. Dick's like, so they're getting bored, huh? <sighs> Deku sighs and just says, well, Creation. Yes, boss. Everyone's looking at us as villains, right? Grace says, yes. Why? Deku begins to say, like, well... I can't remember... Give me a minute, guys. Tell me in the comment section if Deku was a villain. Oh. Fuck it. I'll look it up later. Because I think I just left what Deku was a drive creation villain or something. So, anyway. As Deku just smiling. And just says, Why don't we become vigilantes? And Creation's like, But that's not the whole point, isn't it? Deku's like, No, no, no. I'm talking about you guys as vigilantes, not me. Because uh, mine already dirtied my hands. And Creator's like, Papa, is are the chicken nuggets done? And Deku's like, Yes, sweetie, they're done. As Deku flips the pan into the sink, and grabs it, and puts them on a plate, and gives them to Aerie, like, Deku's smiling at her, so, how else your chicken, sweetie? It's good, Papa. Deku's like, okay, make sure you don't spill any. As Deku tells Creation to go upstairs with him, Creation's like, what? okay, so what did you mean by becoming vigilantes? Deku said, well, it would probably get you guys some reputation, but kind of cut me out of that reputation. Besides, I think I've already proved my point of not being a hero. Besides, I bet you guys would enjoy it. And Creation's like, yeah, but I also dirtied my hands. Springtrap also did too. Deck was like, well, you can just go kill people for all I care. And and uh, Creation's like, got it, boss. As Creation goes and tells the others that they're going to become vigilantes, but at the, at with the twist, they creation said that Deku doesn't care if you kill the villains or not, and they like say yes. Springtrap's like, eh, I don't really care. My Springtrap goes out into the real world and just looks out like, huh, so much time has passed since I last last saw it, man. Back in the back in 1982, this was different. We didn't have all this fucking fancy shit. And of course, someone was right behind Springtrap, and it was someone was creeping right behind him, about to stab him. And Springtrap moved out of the way and grabbed the person's arm and pinned them down. The sun. and Springtrap says, "Who are you?" And she looks. Toga, Toga looks at Springtrap, says, "I'm Toga, and I want to kill you. And I want to kill you." Springtrap's like, "Hmm." What's your motive to killing? She says, well, everyone keeps calling my quirk a villain. Villainous. Springtrap's like, hmm. I'm guessing your, your quirk is to basically take someone's blood, and when you absorb it, you can become them, right? Toga's like, he didn't even, he, I didn't even told him what my quirk was. String, Springtrap ties her hands up and takes her to the black void. Because Springtrap's kind of interested if Deku wants her to join her, his team or not. As Toga gets top, like was thrown into the house, and as Deku was playing with Eri upstairs, and Deku was thumping, Deku says, "Eri, I'll be right back." And Deku told Fox to play with her. Foxy and Eri were playing for like five minutes, and Eri's like, and Foxy said, "Let's play hide and seek." Of course, Foxy can find Eri. <laughs> For the next five minutes. Deku's looking for... Yeah. Deku's now looking for someone. Now Deku finds someone on his ground with someone which he's been gagged. 
And Deku Tales says to Springtrap, Why did you bring someone in my void area? Springtrap says, Well, I kind of figured out a quirk, and I think it could be useful. Deku says, ah, Fine, you can go, Springtrap. I'll see, I'll see what I can do. Springtrap closes the door as he was leaving, and goes back to his fine nights at phase 3, like, I don't know, the world he created keeps killing the night guard, and sometimes he kills the phantoms for fun. As Deku, as Deku just drags, Tog, they like, carries Toga and puts her on the couch, and Deku on gag, so he takes egg. <laughs> what is this place? I'll tell everyone where it is. Deku's like, you're a slow loner, Eri, aren't you? Not Eri, Toga. This place can't be found because it's my ability. And if you try to escape Toga, you won't be able to get out because all the doors are locked and only I can permit people coming in that I trust to leave. However, my creations can leave whenever they please. However, if I order them to play, do something, they do it. Wherever they don't want to do it, they don't want to do it. And if I say it's, if I order them to, they, they will get nervous. But I let them do what they wish. So, yeah. So Deku pushes his hands together and says, So, Eri, what's your quirk? Not Eri, Toka, what's your quirk? Koko flinches at that Deku's terrifying face of, of smiling as he's closing his eyes. When Toka was there, she just felt fear. Nothing but fear of bloodshed. Toka says, Well, my quirk allows me to turn to anyone I want, but... In order for me to do that, I have to take the person's blood. And Deku's like, interesting. Deku says to Toka, he's like, Toka, would you like to join me and my creations team? Toka's like, why kill our people? Deku said, yes. And Toka says, I'm in. And Deku on un un unties her, and Deku says, well... This is the kitchen, and this is the living room, and this is the TV, and the bathroom's like down, like uh, to the left of the hallway. And upstairs is where my daughter is, Eri. And, and Toga says, Wait, you have a daughter? Deku says, Adopted. And Toga's like, Oh, because you look too young to have a daughter. Deku's like, I know, but life is life. As I was, I was trying to, telling the students to be prepared at any time. Because we don't know who this individual is. This individual is incredibly fast and strong. And we can't get into the places he's at. So that's why we're developing some things at the Science Research Center. We're developing... Yeah, we're developing stuff. Yeah, we're developing... We're developing a type of device that will allow us to get into the void. And take down this person, and then we'll put him into it, and we put handcuffs on him that will disable his ability. <laughs> of course, that no one's on the watch duty to this, because all the, all the animatronics that he commands is, like, different. Because, because since they're, like, they're the joy of creation, they are literally can do whatever they want. Well, they can't do whatever you want, but they can only do order... Okay, sorry, guys. The only person that can order them is Deku. Deku is the only one he could. They. Deku is the only one that they will. Or that will. They, fuck. Fuck me. That they will follow, or that they will do. Fuck. I can't. Why was that so hard for me to pronounce? Hmm. As Deku's like, like talking to Toga. Now Toga's been there for like two days and very little time. Two days equals two weeks. Because Deku can change the time period, like I said, so. As Deku just says, well, well, well. As Te Toka's wearing new out clothes, and just, she's like already used to that life, because two days. Oh yeah, she's just been there two days, so, yeah, it's different, so. Deku says, so, how do you like it here? Uh, Toka says, it's nice, it has furniture, it has food, and Deku's like, yeah. I actually, I actually have to go grocery shopping every time. And Toga's like, wait, so you can't make food? Deku's like, nope. I tried to. It worked for a few days, but after a while, the food got rotten in the next start. No. 
five days. And Toko was like, oh. And Deku was like, yeah, I'm also powering, yeah, powering this is like not even a limit to me. This is, I can just do this with ease. Power, it's like, it's not even a big deal for me. Because this place is like a huge power, like, fucking thing. So, yeah. But would you know a moment after... I would you know when we were talking for the next two weeks about what 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 and what were they what they saw and what this guy's capable of because the because Deku is the only one because Deku allow is allowing them to talk to each other about it. However, if someone overhears, Golden Freddy will take care of them just by teleporting them into a room filled with his fallen angels. Besides, Deku wanted to test something out. Deku snaps his fingers, and Deku, t Deku tells Amatronic to go to UA, and see what they can do, since it's been two weeks. The Fallen Angel agrees, and follows him, and goes to the place. The Fallen Angel goes to the place, goes to UA, in the night. Everyone's fast asleep. And, you no, know, Deku sent that on the third day of Wednesday, of the sec as of this of the second week, of the first week, and they're on second week, so it's Wednesday right now. Deku sent the fallen angel, uh, let's say fallen angel A with the one with one arm, and just class one A saw something something red eyes going in the background. However, it began running up to one of the students. It grabs Karashima and almost begins choking him to death because Karashima was out and needed a glass of water. However, Bakugo heard some noise. He came out of the boys' room and he came out of his dorm. And Bakugo saw the animatronic and Bakugo blasted an explosion at it, knocking it back like five meters. As all the boys are now awake, they come out and just see this giant, they just see this robotic thing. Like, let's just say, like, un like, not scratched once. As the thing begins rushing at him, Sato, Sato freezes the, freezes the ground, and it slips. And Sato grabs the thing's head and starts melting it. As the thing grabs on Sato's arm, trying to break it, Bakugo grabs the thing's arm and puts it down as it's struggling to get up. However, the secretary in the in the in, in the fallen angel is almost failing. However, the falling, however, the angel, the angel uses opportunity since the ice was so like you know slippery. The thing started like twisting its body over, and then both the class one A students fell fell to the ground on their butts. As as the thing jumps back, all, all the way to the wall. The thing says, "Well, well done. Well, 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 well done, 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 done. My, my master, my master, my master De De Deku was r r r r right, r r r right about you, you, you." Baku was like, "Damn you!" And then Baku goes like, "Damn, Deku." Whoever this thing is, it's, it's new to us. However, it's it's, it's pretty weak against fire. Of course, Deku's one weakness is fire, but the fire must be, yeah, fire. I'm mean, not saying, no, guys. Tell me in the comment section. Should fire be Deku's weakness? Just, just tell me, please. However, Deku's durability for the robots is really high, but fire. If, if Deku's robots are on fire, if someone, if Deku's, De if Deku's robots are in the fire, they can stay in the fire for like five hours until. They completely like melt down and destroyed, and Deku would feel that. However, Deku would summon another one and remake him better, but he can't can't purchase pay for the weakness. So yeah. Hmm. Holy shit! I've been talking for twenty minutes and time's already passed by a lot. Also, I had to get my charger fixed. So yeah. Anyway, I think I might end it here. Besides, the robot did say that Deku is coming for you, Bakugo, and you better be prepared. As the thing goes through the wall and just says, and gives them the middle finger, <laughs> it says, fuck you. 
of course, the lights come on, and the teachers rush to the students, like, saying, what happened? The class of eight students, the boys said, well, it was one of those things. It, it got in here. And I just always said, damn, we're too, we're too late. We must have escaped then. As the thing's rushing to Deku, one, as was Deku sitting on the rooftop, just enjoying the breeze, the thing said, M -m Master. Deku says, yes, my, yes, my fallen angel. The students are well, are even more experienced now. However, our, I've sustained some damage, damage, Deku's like, I see. Looks like they found my weakness. Fire. But, good thing I built you guys just to stand. You have resisted fire for five hours. So, yeah. And plus, you have to wait, you have to wait another five hours or five minutes to, depending on how much fire you've taken in. And the angel's like, yes. Besides, as Fallen Angel's getting up, they are growing to be great heroes, my master. Tick's like, yeah, I know. And I'm wondering, should I become a hero again, or just a vigilante? I don't know, to be honest. It's kind of fun being a villain, but at the same time, it doesn't have the kinks of a uh, villain living a luxurious life. I am, I am still a villain, so it should be pretty entertaining. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys watching the screen behind there are enjoying this video. And thanks to the x whatever for making me. Man, it was such a surprise. When I first came to life, I didn't know what to expect. But ever since he gave me life, I felt amazing with my four creations. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Oh, that was great. They feel, I feel like they're more of a family to me. But anyway... I hope you guys liked this video of his. Make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment down below what else you want to see next. And also, today, I'm going to be switching out anyway. So I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> hey guys, so if you like that, I really appreciate that. And there'll be more work that was Isaac Clark and that. And what that was Golden Freddy coming soon. Part six or seven. I can't remember. I'm dumb. Or five. What well, that goes for four. Can we do that? So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And tell me, guys, what what if should I do like next? And thank you for like the five thousand, six thousand, and seven hundred, one hundred subscribers. I'm sorry I have not been saying that, guys. It just you guys really appreciate my videos. You love them, and thank you guys for doing that. But anyway, I really hope you guys are enjoying my videos, because I know you enjoy them so much. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.